Well, then I can do it back. All right, uh, so next one, six. Which of the following equations shows that written in slope-intercept form? So slope-intercept form looks like y equals mx plus b. Um, the slope is m, and the y-intercept is b. Um, so we need to have an equation written out like that. Well, first of all, it looks like f and k aren't even written like that. Uh, they don't look like y equals. They look like y something else. So um, that doesn't work. So let's see. It says that it's just this equation, so all I have to do is rewrite it. So I'm going to get y by itself. First thing I'll do is subtract x from both sides. So that's 3y equals negative x plus 5. I know that normally I would write 5 minus x, but I'm putting that um, x in the front instead um, to make it a little look more like this. Okay, and then I'm going to divide by 3 to get y by itself. Everything has to be divided by 3, not just the, not just like all of it, it each part. Um, so that's y equals negative 1 third x, because there's kind of like a 1 right there, um, plus 5 thirds. So this is the y-intercept, and this is the slope, or m. I don't know why it's the letter m, but it is. Um, so it says, which of the following equations shows it written in slope-intercept form? So it looks like G is the right answer. Okay. Seven. What is the slope of a line that is parallel to that? Okay, so parallel lines have the same slope. Um, have the same slope. And perpendicular, by the way, have opposite reciprocals. That means you flip the fraction and add a negative sign. Um, but parallel lines, it makes sense because if they're going up at the same rate, um, then kind of that rise over run um, is the same for both of them if I had drawn a perfect picture. So um, all we have to do is make this look like y equals mx plus b again. We're going to get a lot of practice on that today. Um, and then figure out what the slope is, and then that'll be the answer. So I'm going to first, let's see, move that x by subtracting x on both sides. I get negative 3y equals negative x plus 9. And then I'm going to divide by negative 3 for everything. So I get y equals a negative divided by a negative is positive, so that's 1 third x. 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. Okay, so... This is the slope of that line, and a parallel line would have the same slope, so that would be B. Um, a uh, perpendicular line uh, would have a slope of 3 over 1, but it would be negative, so it would be negative 3. Okay. 8. In the standard xy coordinate plane, what is the slope of the line joining those points? All right, so um, to find the slope of a line, it's rise over run, if you were going to graph it. Or you could think about y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. That's basically the, the vertical change uh, divided by the horizontal change. So um, it doesn't matter which, I'll rewrite them so that it's a little easier to see over here. It doesn't matter which one you use where. So if you say... This is point 0.1, sure, that's x1, y1, and this one's x2, y2. So I'm going to take y1 minus y2, that's negative 5 minus 10, and on the bottom is x1, which is 3, minus x2, which is 6, that makes negative 15, uh, divided by what, negative 3? Negative 15 divided by negative 3 is a positive 5, so the slope is... K, positive 5. Halfway there. Alright, number 9. Alright, what is the slope of this line? Well, a lot of these are very similar over and over again. Should give you good practice, though. Um, we're trying to get y by itself. We're trying to figure out what that slope is, which is m. So uh, the equation is 2x minus 7y equals 12. To get y by itself, first I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. And this time I get negative 7y equals negative 2x plus 12. 
And then I'm trying to get y by itself, so I'll divide by negative 7 all over. So that's y equals positive 2 7 x, 2 7 x minus 12 7 So what a slope is c. All right, number 10. What is the slope of the line given by this equation? My goodness, these are these ones are a little repetitive on this one, but apparently this question gets asked a lot. So hopefully you're doing pretty well on this by now, or at least understand it. So uh, we're trying to, again, y equals mx plus b. We're trying to figure out m right there. So I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides. I get 5y equals negative 3x plus 8. And then divide by 5 all over. So y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 8 fifths. Um, so negative 3 fifths right there. Okay. Um, and by the way, remember, you only have to do the problem until you know the answer. So if you were on this one and I had, could see right even here without doing this step at all, I could see that when I divide that negative 3 by 5, I'm going to get negative 3 fifths, and I would have just stopped right there and quit, basically. All right, um, number 11. What is the equation of a line that passes through these points? All right, that's a little harder. Um, well, to figure out y equals mx plus b, first thing you have to do um, is find out your slope. And we did that before with x1, y1, uh, x2, y2. Okay, So let's see, y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So the top would be 7 minus 7. And the bottom would be 0 minus 8. Okay, so that gets you 0 over negative 8. Now, that should kind of freak you out a little bit right there and say, oh, I've got a 0 on the top, which is a slope of 0, which means that this thing is going to be a horizontal line. It's going to be a flat line. Um, and you'll notice that you see how the y-coordinate on both of them are 7s? So this is the flat line, y equals 7. And if you're like, ooh, I don't know if I'll remember um, that a vertical line, so a vertical line up and down, that's always like x equals a number, and a flat line is always y equals a number. And if you don't think you'll remember that, just look at the points. You see how the y coordinate is 7 on both? That means y is always 7, which the answer is c. Okay, 12. Um, what's the relationship? Okay, so for this one, I think it's best just to draw a quick example so you know what it's talking about. It says the slope of a line um, that goes through the point zero, 0, is negative 1. So basically, the slope is down 1 over 1 like this. And it's just kind of like a, almost a perfect perfect diagonal line going through like that. Um, so let's just pick a point. We'll make it up. We'll say that this one is, I don't know, 3 on the y and negative 3 on the x. So this is the point right there. It is negative uh, 3, 3. All right. So the x coordinate is twice the y coordinate. Nope. x comes first. Definitely not twice. x is half. No. Um, they're the same number. Technically, they're not. They're both threes, but one's positive, one's negative. The y-coordinate is the negative of the x-coordinate. Yes, and that's true. Even though the y isn't negative here, but the x is negative, if I made a negative negative, it would make it a positive. So j is the right answer right there. Okay, 13. In the standard xy-coordinate plane, I think they just like, look at this, they just love saying it. You see this? 9 in the standard xy coordinate plane, 10 in the standard xy coordinate plane. It's almost like this is coordinate geometry. Uh, in the standard xy coordinate plane, the y coordinate of every point in a line is the same as its corresponding x coordinate. What